I'm a tool in God's hands in her life. I'm not in this marriage to be served. If I get served, great, well sure. done. But I don't expect it. Wow. Right? And what I've often found as well, guys, is that when you don't expect to be served, you get served. That's but true. when you start demanding being served, it's the law of attraction. Yeah, <laughs> you know absolutely. what I mean. So I never ask. She knows. I'll never ask Oguti. Well, I'll ask in my actions. I won't ask live. But I'm not getting being <laughs> cool, you know. <laughs> 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 oh, you know? <laughs> this is our love story. This is our journey. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of our love journey. As you see, um. How you guys have changed. I, mean, oh, like, uh, I don't know what to do. You went from one sentence to another. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm on a bed, I'm on a bed. Hey, guys, how you going? Are we on? We are. We don't want to tell you. Is this the recording or not? It is. It is. It but we don't want you to be change. Be a man of your word. We don't want you to change. Okay, we want you right. to be yourself. Okay, we're going to be normal. We're going to be normal. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, guys, yeah. welcome to another episode of Our Love Journey. Sure. Long story short, this is the second time we're together trying to shoot mm. and we just keep dying of laughter. Yeah. Okay? It's, it, there's a lot of things that have already <laughs> happened yeah. before we even started recording. Yeah. Uh, but we have um, a couple that we are starting to really, really fall in love with. <laughs> like, like we try to model our relationship after your guys' relationship now. Yeah. Ever since the, like I'm trying to tell jokes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, babe, maybe you can introduce our couple today. So I feel like your name shouldn't be Sia. I don't know why. Like every time I have, to, I I know it's just so weird. Every time I have to be like, can your husband's name is Sia? Because I feel like you, you shouldn't be Sia. I don't know who you should be, but you shouldn't be Sia. They called me Denzel in high school. <laughs> that's that's actually. <laughs> I can see it. That's what you need. Growing up, I did struggle with that, where people would look at him, look at me. I struggled. With it. Just like the six pack. I struggled. With it. I struggled with it, but. Next to Denzel, we've got we've got Prudence. Um, backstory: Prudence, and she was one of my first clients um, doing nails for, and then we just kept the relationship. Um, I know your husband didn't like me because apparently I used to always give advice <laughs> that comes with spending money. Yeah, yeah. Mbumi used to visit us. <laughs> we lived in a very small apartment. It, it was, was a cute, one bedroom. Though. Very cute. It, it was, was small. everything. It was, <laughs> it was small. It was small. It wasn't cute. It was small. Not, okay. And. Uh, Mbumi, every time I'd literally have to go to the kitchen to make a sandwich, and every time I went to the kitchen, Mbumi had new advice <laughs> about <laughs> about spending money. <laughs> we must go. Uh, uh, yeah, we, we must go to the movies. We must go out. We must date each other. I'm just thinking about paying off a bond. So. But yeah, it's my wife. Ooh, guys, yeah, like uh, tell me, how did you guys meet? So, <laughs> how <laughs> we met in church? No, no, no. Let's, uh, let's give the full church. story. No, let's give the full story. We met at church. We did meet at church. Okay. Um, and we we were singing in the choir. We were singing you in the guys choir. Sing. No, no, wait. Hold on. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> not... Hold on. Okay. We were singing in the choir. So okay. mina bengu 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 ten. bengu ten. We hope so. Bengu yeah. ten, ane. Yeah. It was a church. It took the postal. So. Okay. Um, so singing is in context, you know. <laughs> no, I mean, well, well, hold on. What I'm saying is, oh, no, 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 no. Let, so let me give the context. Cry, no, 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 no. <laughs> All right. No, I'm saying is, if you go sing at Rema or Rivers, yeah, you know, you got a mic and oh, all of that. Okay. At twelve, it's a lot of you. Oh. So singing has, is it's in a context. Choir, okay. you know, so it's a choir. Like, it's a choir. Oh, it's a, a big choir yeah. and. Uh, Italian is not like you gotta show up. Okay. <laughs> you gotta show up. So, okay. so we were there, and uh, I had gone with my friend Ulizo, mm. my best friend, um, my boy. I think we've known each other f- since grade five. Mm. He's pretty much given me everything in life. Uh, you know, when I graduated, he dressed me up. Uh, even at high school, when I uh, are you gonna talk about your best I, friend now? When, no, hold on, hold on. There's context. There's okay. context. There's okay. context. Okay. <laughs> That reminded me, she was fighting me yesterday. No, she fights me about the weirdest thing. No, don't change the topic. No, 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 hold on, let me tell you. Okay, oh, sorry, sorry, okay. My mind is... <laughs> okay, but she fights me about the weirdest things. Okay. We... Okay, anyway, let me come back to Liz, all right? <laughs> Liz, no, so, no, no, come back to the church. Just so finish, so we can <laughs> The church, yes, the church, the church. So, so, so what happened was, we, we... Because Lizzo, you know, just got used to giving me everything, eventually it was given that it was going to also help me with the wife. So <laughs> what, what happened was, <laughs> okay, so what happened was, what happened was, um, no, look, I'm, I'm bad with women, right? And I, I could never 
do that whole thing where you talk to a woman and whatever. and all of that. I could never do that. So I I actually had accepted with the so so Lizzo so help me yes yeah so we went there we went to go sing and there was uh upru go soprano ne? no alto babe alto. so look i don't remember the, the the things but she was directly opposite me so i was eterna and we 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 sang i mean i remember it's such a romantic moment even when i remember the song you know kuba bonke o tiko they would clap it bobo no There I was looking at a bobo. <laughs> so eventually, eventually Ulizo uh, got her to invite me on Facebook. No, 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 no. You okay. invited me on Facebook. I would have never done that. No, you did no. that. You did that. I didn't know who you were. So Ulizo. Oh, did you see him? Um, no, I saw him. He was staring at me the whole time. I couldn't even see. <laughs> was it I like, wait, it was, was so it creepy open. or was it like, oh, this is cute? There was a hint of creepiness. It was, <laughs> <laughs> <It> was focused. <laughs> bo, bo, bo. Bo. Well, you know, it was focused. Yes, but nevertheless, um, yeah, his face stayed. Like, uh, he just stared. <laughs> so that's What how I know. Mean? You added me. No, you added me on Facebook. And okay. I remembered that face. Which, this is the face. That was staring at oh, me. That creepy guy. <laughs> yeah, this is the creepy guy. <laughs> staring at me at was, church. This is the first time I'm here. <laughs> no, you added me, babe. Okay. No, the we creepy guy. The back. face of the creepy guy. No, you're not. Uh, that's the, not yeah, not but I don't think creepy. there's a romantic way. You said, that, you said way. it stays with you till this day. No. <laughs> <laughs> I sleep next to it. Uh-huh. Maybe that's why she keeps hugging you in the passage. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah. we got onto Facebook and um uh, and you, you obviously had a chat with Lizzo. Yeah, Lizzo did stuff for me. So Lizzo wa wa make stars in like what you say okay. hey there's a This guy, guy is like, so cuz I was never going to say it for myself. <laughs> Mena literally I just went onto Facebook and I started poking and you know doing stuff that people do you like you were just being such uh, you know yeah, that's <laughs> you know and I figured that you know what God was going to work it out because I was never going to have the words of baby let's be together i i could never do that and sure. some so th- then we eventually <laughs> got together i started the conversation oh. so you had to shella him no not really so you added me and you kept quiet <laughs> you just added well, he just explained that he was like, never that is the truth that sounds like me <laughs> you said nothing and you know back then in 20 20 2011 yeah When people add you on Facebook, they'll be something. like, hi, thanks for adding me, blah, blah. They say something, yeah. and he, he never did. So I was like, you. hey. <laughs> But I poked you once, I think. I missed the poke. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't you have any poke? Yeah. <laughs> so that's how we met. And then... What did you say? I was like, Facebook? hi, thanks for the ad. Looking forward to a great friendship. Oh. No, no. Was no, no, no. that you friend zoning no. him or kind of finding out... Where he's at. I was trying to figure out where he's at. Oh. And also just to get to know him a bit more. Because I knew that you were friends with Lisa. So I just yes. needed to know what were your intentions. And and, and. and then there was a, a soccer match. When this is how I found out that... I mean, this was my first experience with understanding how I married a liar. Like, <laughs> in, in, its, in its purity. <laughs> She said to me, she's into soccer. <laughs> So it was it was I think it was 2011 and Barcelona were going to face Manchester United. It was the final of the UEFA Champions League. It's mm. a big game. It's a big game. It's a big game. Didn't know that. And she she said that she's a Barcelona research. fan and we had a bet that if Barcelona won, I don't I don't even remember what the bet went like. Yeah. It was if Barcelona won uh I don't know. We went out. Or if uh, it, it, the point is, I was going to see you. It was smart. Yes. It was a way of us going on a date. Yes. So you were shelling him. Yeah. Yeah, and Kinda, lying. Yeah. And lying. So, so, so <laughs> that immediately, you know, that trigger that gets you into a conversation. The moment she mentioned soccer, I was like, oh, now I'm in my zone. It's yeah. like talking to a dude. You know, <laughs> that's when I got into it. I'm like, oh, I'm in Manchester United. <laughs> We started talking players. She was obviously on Google <gasps> because she knew every yeah. Barcelona player. Yeah. She knew everything, and we spoke today. I can't watch soccer. Today, if I watch soccer, it's like cheating. It's like, oh, oh, but that's how oh, you, but soccer. That's how, <laughs> but that's how your relationship started. Yes, yes. yes. And then soccer. we, oh. and then we, the game happened and Barcelona We eventually won. met. I was at school. Yes. I was at school and you were. No, we went through the funeral. No, no, no. There was that a funeral. Was, we were dating. Oh, we're dating. <laughs> too many people. 
funeral you didn't was in know. between. Yes. Why, yes. Wait, why are you guys our attending? Was, our first date was a funeral. Sure. No, Very bad. Conventional. We'll get to this, right? Our age difference, but we couldn't easily see each other. <laughs> we can actually get into it now. No, wait. No, yeah. <laughs> 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 Let's just context. 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 Yes, yes. Okay. context. So, so we've got a bit of an age difference. So when I, I was out of school, way out, and she was still in school. <laughs> so we couldn't see each other, right? Yeah. So we had to find ways of seeing each other. Yeah. Um, and I think our first time where we actually saw each other freely, there was a funeral. I don't remember who died. Ah, oh, it was my oh, squeezer. Um, <laughs> squeezer's, oh, oh, squeezer's mother, yeah. <laughs> squeezer's father or somebody. Well, my squeezer, I call her squeezer. I don't know what she is. She's, she's, she's squeezer. my uncle's wife, oh, squeezer. Yeah, That's okay. what I call her. Yeah. So oh, squeezer, uh, there was a funeral and I was like, hey, babe. <laughs> you wanna go to a funeral? <laughs> you, know, be, you know, there'll be reeves and all, you know? Yeah. So we went to the funeral together, uh, shed a, you know, shed some tears, watched people crying. It was actually a, a good time and, and that's so that's, that's how we really cemented our relationship. Yeah. So the age gap, um, who lied to who? Did anyone lie to anyone about I the did. age difference? So I you've did. just I'm been the liar. lying throughout <laughs> the relationship. I, lo- I love no. my liar. I'm married to a liar, and I love it. <laughs> You've no, accepted. Guys. That's your, that's your push. What's your, the gap, gap? It's nine years. Nine years. It's nine years. Sure. So when you were born, you were quarter to high school. It's You know, when he stops you, it's bad. Okay. Because he never stops you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's nine years. At that point, no, guys, I didn't lie for the sake of lying. Uh, I lied because at that point, I realized that you're really a great guy. <laughs> so I just exaggerated my age by just two, two years. Oh, so, so I just said, added two yeah, years. I just added two years. Exaggerated. I love your choice of words there. <laughs> exaggerated. <laughs> exaggerated. Two years. Um, and then, yeah, but I told the truth eventually. Eventually. And eventually. how did you feel when she told you she's nine years younger than you? You know what? Let me be honest. Ne? We, are, we are talking the truth here. Yeah, ne? yeah. I struggled with girls my age for a very long time. I don't know if it was a maturity issue. Okay. I don't know. But at the time, girls my age had problems. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> my man, I'm a debit order. <laughs> they, it they, was just too much. It was real for them, you know? Yeah. So you date someone and you take on responsibility. Yeah. You know, you would date someone and they had a kid. I mean, I dated girls at UJ. But I thought you had a problem with talking to girls, no? Yeah, but Lizzo was there. I promise you. <laughs> oh, I'm not exaggerating. Oh, <laughs> Lizzo was the guy for Lizzo me. Okay. Doing the lots and work. I'm, I'm telling you, Lizzo sorted me out. But what would happen is, Lizzo would sort me out, but eventually I'd have to be on my own, right? Yeah. With yeah, the girl. Yeah. <laughs> okay? So there was a problem. Okay. Because when I was my, with my own, uh, with the girl on my own, the problem started. Because all of a sudden, the girl wanted to do funny stuff like sex. Now I'm there, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this was no, 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 no. This wasn't about this kind of thing. This is like, I'm I'm fine. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> So I was, so look, I was a late bloomer. I, yeah. I, you know, I don't, I'm not even, I was afraid to say it on camera. Everybody yeah. that knows me knows. I was a late bloomer. Yeah. I, I had made up in my mind that sex after marriage yeah. and I don't want to touch a girl. Yeah. Like, I didn't want to do anything beyond yeah. kissing. Even kissing was like, Sure. The saliva. How old are you at this point? At this point, I'm um, probably 18, like 18. 18. The girls have debit orders. No, 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 no. You're talking about. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Now I'm like, when the girls had debit orders, when I was at UJ. I'm talking about when I was at UJ. I guess I'm building up. Yeah. Okay. So when I was at UJ, I was maybe 19, 20, yeah. 21. Yeah. They had problems. Yeah. But we might not have sure. been debit orders, ne? But they, but were, they were different. Yeah. And I think for me, the biggest thing was sex yeah it was it was the biggest thing because i i didn't understand how it worked because high school was nice right mm-hmm. we go back to class no expectations no expectations all of a sudden <laughs> all of a sudden yes. we need to have sex a lot. when <laughs> so I remember, I remember this one moment where i was with this girl and i won't mention names obviously she knows herself she knows what she did to me. Yeah, she watches, she watches yeah, yeah. this podcast. Yeah, 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 she knows what she did. You know what she did to me. So I was with this girl and we were sitting and I was watching TV. So I'd gone over to her commune where you gone mm-hmm. over to a commune and I was watching TV and she said she wants to bath. In my mind, she wants to bath. 
Yeah. She's going, <laughs> she needs to part. <laughs> so I said, okay, part. I'm going to watch TV. I'm watching TV. Oh. She comes out of the shower. And I'm like, ay, bo. In the pool, Miss In the pool, is porn. What is, <laughs> what's going on here? And, and it's those kind of things for me that were like, yeah. this, and I, I don't belong here. I don't belong here. And yeah. I constantly had to, um, it's porn. I constantly had to, Ugi to watch a little situation, yeah, you know. Yeah. And so I wanted some. I didn't need that baggage in my okay. life at the time, and I just, <laughs> I guess I went to an age where I, I wouldn't have to deal with it. Oh, I was the next lap. Not too much. Yeah, you say. Lanyo yeah. haga, lanyo haga, la. <laughs> so it wasn't. So it, so I guess for you, um, it felt more natural to mm. to date younger. It it was natural, but also in the conversations. Yeah. That's why I'm being honest. I think from a maturity perspective, yeah. I'm very playful. I'm very... Yeah, that's true. The, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too serious. Like, it was so... I, I'm, I, but I'm actually glad that he gave that perspective because yeah. at the end of the day, um, we don't want to encourage relationships where you get someone who's actually mature, very mature, and a young girl who's much younger and mm. is not mm. as mature and then there's a problem. Yeah, so I'm I so glad. most times, it's actually the opposite of that. Yeah. It's, it's the mature guys sort of almost trying praying. to turn or praying on the younger girls mm. to become like the girls from Eva City. Yeah. So they expect that for... So that's actually... I'm like, this is news to me. Yeah, we didn't know this. We didn't know this. But I can actually tell because of your guys' relationship. And I was, I was telling Pumi when you guys left that your friendship... And the way in Pondanga corner, mm. it's like you are one person. Literally. It's we are siblings. We look at each other as siblings. <laughs> <laughs> Stop saying that. <laughs> what was the most shocking thing about marriage? Nothing. Really? really. You know why? It's uh. because, well, we've been together for 11 years. Sure. So we got married after four years of dating. Yeah. And at that point, before we got married, our families already knew each other. It felt like, yeah, we had been in each other's lives for forever, really. Yeah. Uh, I think the biggest challenge was then adjusting to living in, like, one... Space. Same space. Yeah. It was fun just dating, visiting each other, and, you know, doing all the fun things, but not having to share the same environment and, and build. I think the previous couple spoke about building. Yeah. And build. I think, yeah, that was a bit of a challenge, but... Nothing we couldn't really handle. It's things that we had prepared for, conversations we've had in the four years of dating. And yeah. So it didn't feel like much of a of a change for you guys. So the first shock for me was that someone could like <laughs> someone could look at you, Gabi, <laughs> for no reason. So so I could be eating, watching TV, minding my own business, and I would look up and just, <laughs> just like I'd be like, like am I eating the chicken too fast or what? Am I eating the chicken too fast or what? So so for me, I, I won't lie. There was there was a couple of um, a shock. I think she mentioned the whole living together thing. Yeah. Because what happened is um, I moved out of. A, my my granny's house is so wet. Yeah. A, we, a, I hope we get to talk about it. We we're actually planning to extend because I had a room. <laughs> you wanted? And I had I had ma- massive dreams. I actually wanted a foggy kitchen and you know, but she stopped me and that's why I love her. She stopped Wait, me and she to, said for you to live with your grand or to do it for your grand. No 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 no. So let me explain this right. My, my granny is a cheese girl. She's got money. She's okay. she's fine. So she was sorted. So she was in the house. Then we a room outside. Uh, but there were certain things that irritated me about my room outside because uh, I would need to go outside for a, a toilet in the middle of the night. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there were rats and stuff. It was it was a lot happening. <laughs> and then also, whenever I needed to make food, I need to go into the kitchen. Yeah. So my plan was to say, you know what? Let me invest. <laughs> <laughs> I like yeah. the word. Let me, word. Let, me, let me just <laughs> dump out my crib. And my plan was with some fucking sink. You know, put in the toilet, really just make, bring the place alive. And, and then uh, Prue would come join you. you. And would do this thing, you know. <laughs> so, so anyway, anyway, the point, the point I was making was, um, I got, I got, we, I moved out of my granny's house because she wouldn't allow that. Thank and, God. um, and that's where mm. we lived in that one bedroom, yeah. um, that you'd always do a lot more than just nails <laughs> in. Um, and, and so at first I lived alone. 
Oh, okay. You see? Yeah. And then, uh, then she joined me as soon as we got married. Yeah. <laughs> Should visit. Yeah. You make it seem like it's unconventional for someone to do that. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> she joined me. Yeah, after like we got married. Yeah, like. just because we got married, now you must live with me. Like, you know, anyway, so 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 she would visit. Uh-huh. It's very different. Uh-huh. Uh, Why does your voice go up every time she should visit? <laughs> yeah, no, she's visiting. Yeah, and it sounded the whole idea sounded nice with you. She's visiting. Oh, yeah. she's here. Oh, Good she makes food indeed. and all of that. And then we are humble, <laughs> you know. But then after marriage, like she stays. Yeah, <laughs> forever, yeah. forever. Yeah. You know. So now, what's yours is mine. What's mine is. You know what I mean. Yeah, and now yeah. we gotta, we gotta. So that was a shock for me. I'll be honest, because all of a sudden, um, we were in the same space, and it, and it was small, and there were shoes, and there were. We had, there was a lot happening, yeah. you know, and we had our bathroom that we were sharing and yeah. it was, yeah, it was a, it was a shock for me. It's a so, tough adjustment. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't, did we struggle? We did. It's pretty similar to you. I think guys generally guys struggle. Guys struggle. I feel, I, yeah. I think so too. I, and think- I, I think it's because we don't impose our way of living. That's it, Brendan. <laughs> on you guys. Brendan, that's it. <laughs> we, I don't expect is, you to be sloppy. <laughs> Brendan, that's it. <laughs> no, you know, the thing is we have, like I had this romantic idea of when we get our place together, no, it's no. going to feel like this. It's going to look like this. No, no. I mean, I used to think I'm going to be that wife on Monday. We do position A on Tuesday, position oh, B. Oh, no, no. Like, no. you know, you've got this whole... <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you've oh, got no, this no, whole no. life romantic yeah. thing planned out and then... You realize... Oh. I just thought, like, I guess mm. this is what you might have thought, is that we're going to do what we've always been doing. Yes. <laughs> no, <laughs> can we watch some TV? Yeah, let's just... You saw me watch soccer. Yeah. That's how we met. I was... We met through soccer. I, this is what I do. <laughs> now, Super Sport 3 is a, is a sin. It's a problem. You no, know? man. I think it's because you guys, um, generally, most guys, you don't want to let go of your... Like singleness in a yeah. way. You want to hold on to that to, but also and have this have whole the, why. How, yes. how is watching and, soccer single? <laughs> no, you can't do that all the time. Yeah. All yeah, the time. But, he wants it to do it all the time. But Komora, Play fever. <laughs> Ikomora, even housewives. You, you, I know things I shouldn't know. Like, I know Ula <laughs> Konko. Ula Konko when I know Devin housewives. Like, Ula Konko drives a BMW X3. I shouldn't know that. <laughs> But as a supportive husband, yes. I they, I sit and I watch. Oh, oh, but let let let, let me watch soccer. Ronaldo. <clears throat> like I got to a point where I ended up watching soccer on an app. <laughs> <laughs> can I tell you? Can I tell you one story? Can I tell you one story? This was I was so angry this day. I I, I, I don't think I've ever been that angry. <laughs> She says, I, I mustn't watch soccer. I said, that's fine. I'm not going to watch soccer. You watch what you want. I'm not going to watch soccer. <laughs> I got onto the app. A live score. Uh, live score. So yes. you can see what's happening, yes. right? Yes. So now, now I'm here. In my own home. I'm watching. Sing, sing to me. I'm watching. <laughs> she saw me watching soccer and not watching her show. <laughs> She lost it. <laughs> she lost it. Brendan. Do you know? Do you know when you get angry to the point where you don't know what to do? You don't you don't even know what to say anymore. I got so angry we went to the mall. I said, I'm not walking with you. I kept I, I kept at least a meter between us. I was so angry. That she found you. I, I said, I said, I'm not walking with you. We literally, as we left the car, we were racing. I was like, I'm not walking with you. I don't want to see you. Guys, I got so you angry. guys are Tom and Jerry. Yo, I got so angry. So it's those kind of things. So when she says, you know, she says, remember her answer. Oh no, there were no shocks. <laughs> we moved in. We were happy. Hey. You shocked. You can't watch soccer. I was, I was in shock. I was in shock. Um, but there were also positives. We mustn't also yeah. just talk the negative. Yeah. I think there was also some good shocks. Yeah. What are like, the good shocks? She Tell cooked us. really well. You know. Yeah. Okay, to be <laughs> Oh no, no. We prior to <laughs> just take out. Yeah. You guys are very career driven though. Um yeah, yeah, yeah. you guys study like no one's uh business. Who's the one who pushes uh the other person and where does it come from the whole studying like what's the goal? I think you're the pressure. Who's the pressure? Yeah. I think it, it stemmed from because of the age gap, yeah, he was always very cautious of not, um, what's the word? What's the right term to use? 
I'm still ensuring that I achieve my dreams. Ah. And not because now saying Shadile, I must mm. now be the wife. You know, the whole idea that people have that yeah. oh, Shatila, you can't do yeah. certain things. Yeah. So I think it stemmed from there to say, no, you must still push. You must still achieve your dreams. Now he always says, Uguti, babe, you still have a lot to achieve. You still have a lot to do. So I guess mm. that's where the push comes from. But also our goals, um, our kids, oh, not kids, our kids. <laughs> That's how she speaks from time to time. I always tease her. Sometimes the words just go like "good deep work" is "dap." Like when she's in the mood, babe, let's go dap. So there's where kids came out. Kids, kids. Okay, continue, my love. Continue. Anyway, oh god, our children. <laughs> children. So you guys make it a habit to um, tease each other. It's healthy. I don't. I personally don't like it. What? Being teased, teased, I don't yeah. even like criticizing. But <laughs> we had uh, a fight. We had a yeah. huge fight. Because we were talking. Like, I don't like criticizing. Yeah, Britain can't criticized. take being criticized. It's, I, I don't know why. I think it's because what I do is so... Like, my work is so personal to me. So, <laughs> like, like I feel like the world criticizes me. Mm. Yeah. And when I'm talking to Mpumi, I just wanted to just, like, agree with everything I'm doing and say, yeah, you're yeah. killing it. You're killing it. But you guys, on the other hand, like you seem very, very like, like there's no offense. Like yeah. You, do you, you guys? Have, you have such a good understanding, which is, that's why I'm saying, with you. see, we guys, we look up to you. Yeah. Like this is, you guys are now on our vision board. Yeah. <laughs> you guys look up to us when it comes to like jokes. We look up to you when it comes to money. You know? <laughs> Let's let's trade. <laughs> Take our jokes. Hi. <laughs> Let's think. Okay, anyway. <laughs> but honestly, I think it comes from... It took a while. It wasn't always like this. <laughs> did you find it irritating? Um, yeah, I did. For the longest time, I didn't uh, even laugh at his jokes. There was a point I didn't find him funny. <laughs> but I think, I, but think, I think there's a point in marriage where like your, your husband is just... Like, you're, you're just, tired. yeah, like you're not funny. No, no, I'm not saying now. I'm just saying like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah. at that point for a while. <laughs> yeah, uh, but now it's like we are one. Uh, you know, we are clear, in terms of the way I speak, we are one. You chose me, Excel. So, yes. clearly, you love like me. That. Yes, no, and I think it's also in context. Mm. So, so, so look, I think I, I, she supports me mm. a lot, mm. and uh, and I feel it. Yeah. So I know no matter how bad it gets out there, because it gets bad. Yeah. You know, I think you guys have your context about how people can be horrible. Yeah. And I think you would know more than we do. But even in the workspace, like people can just get really ugly. Yeah. And people yeah. bring their baggage and you've got those days where actually one of today's one of them, where you just feel heavy. Yeah. And it's always good to know that you've got somebody that thinks you're brilliant. Sure. So I think it's in that context that I always know that whatever I tell her, I sometimes even doubt to her, she must be lying. She will always say, you look brilliant. You, you look, I mean, she thinks I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm laughing because you are Denzel, by the way. Exactly. I mean, and so you've got it shouldn't be shocking. Exactly. <laughs> yep. Are we mentioning that? Yes. <laughs> So, but, but, but on the real, she, 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 I always have this image and I always tell her because, you know, I, I work, um, long, long distance and I always tell her when I drive back, even from soccer yeah, and I've been away from them, mm. um, well, specify with them. And, 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 yeah. And, and your and wife and the kids. He's Tim. Specific. He's Tim. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> when, I, when I'm away from her and the kids, that we, we, <laughs> Stop it. we, I always tell her that I I look forward to coming home because I, wow. when I open the door, yeah, it literally sounds like cheerleaders. The two girls are just oh, like, man. "Daddy, Daddy, Daddy," and then she will come and you know she loves hugging. She'll just come and <laughs> start hugging. So it's in context. Yeah. 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 The teasing is teasing. Yeah. But we'll never tease each other about the real stuff. Yeah. You know. I'll sometimes see you with I you know, I don't judge I'll sometimes, you. I'll sometimes see you with I I the outfit late. Ah, <laughs> but I won't tease you. I'll say, you know, it's fine. You know, you look good. I don't know, you know. Yeah. But 
I'll, I'll I'll find things to tease, and okay. we, so it's not it's not everything. We only tease mm. about the the so the shallow stuff, stuff. Yeah. like upbringing. Yeah, okay. Um, How is that shallow <laughs> in you the know? context of everything and what we're building? Yeah. Okay. I think we've just made peace. So good to you know what? It was tough. It, it was tough, it yeah. and we don't want to focus on that. We acknowledge and we're thankful for that journey, but now we're focusing on the bigger stuff. We're focusing yeah. on moving forward, and yeah. I mean, as much as we don't have a full picture of your upbringing, I know you had quite a tricky one. Yeah. How has it been um, navigating? Um, because I mean, we we had pretty de- we had decent upbringings, but I think mm, even <clears throat> some of the things from our childhood affects the way we communicate how our relationship is so i can't imagine if your childhood was traumatic how does it work in your relationship do you not have to be extra sensitive <laughs> like how 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 do you guys navigate because I, I can imagine everything's a trigger or not no not really no. really you know honesty um from what i've experienced with her <laughs> we we laugh we laugh about it Okay. Honestly, we laugh about healthily? it. Healthily? What? Laugh in a healthy, healthy way? Yeah, yeah. We laugh about it. I mean, we can't do anything about the fact that... Uba <laughs> Ben. It's on camera, this thing. Uba Ben wasn't there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We, don't, we can't, we can't, we can't uh, uh, do anything about it. Yeah. But what's the point of being sad and, and all, the, uh, uh, you know? I mean, look, I was a, a father figure, right? <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> so we'll, so it's those kind of jokes, right? Yeah. We'll, we'll play around with it. I often yeah. tell them, you know, and, we, and we laugh about <laughs> it. So <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. We, you know. So we, 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 it happened and it happened. Yeah. You know? And so, uh, but yeah, what talk from about your, your upbringing? For me, um, I'm actually grateful for my upbringing because it allowed me to choose him. Okay. So I was very because of my background and everything. What does that mean? No, 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 no. Okay. Let me let me expand okay. on that. So because of not having a father figure, literally I was just raised by women. I, mean, mm. um, I was very particular about the kind of man I wanted to build with oh, okay. and start my life with. Okay. <laughs> oh. I needed a man that was going to stay, be consistent mm. and love whole, wholeheartedly and yeah. be fully present. There. So that's what one of the things that attracted me to, to you. And I don't think if I had um, everything... Like, I don't know. I don't know put it. If Uben was there, I don't know how things would have turned out. Mm. So in a way, I'm grateful that things were the way they are uh, because it allowed me to to make some really tough decisions, which I'm grateful for now. Yeah. So when I look back at my upbring- uh, upbringing, it's not um, a sad thing. I'm actually grateful for that journey to yeah. say, I don't know if I would have made <clears throat> these choices that I've made now. So you guys didn't find yourself projecting... Um, no. Well, not. No, no, I did. I did. Let me be honest. You, so I'm cheap. Ne? And one of the <laughs> reasons I'm cheap is because I saw in my upbringing, we had opposite upbringings. Yeah. I bring them mad. You get You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, but my parents were very, and I love them. I love them. Yeah. Right? But they made some very terrible financial decisions. Ah. And so when, pe- when, when somebody hears about my life, it will confuse you. Okay. Because I, like Ulizo, will be the right person because he was right there throughout really because yeah, we because, to come. because Ulizo, <laughs> Ulizo saw it all Ulizo yeah. went from seeing the absolutely everything like we lived and had everything and in the same lifetime we had nothing sure so I went from having everything sort of up until matric and all of a sudden I was a breadwinner afterwards it's like oh yeah what's happening yeah, yeah. Yeah. you know so I became a breadwinner and all of a sudden we lost it all sure you know so and I think for me, that trigger was when my parents divorced. Mm. So there are a couple of things about me, like it divorced. Mm. So when we fight, I have my stop. Like I don't fight all the way. Yeah. Like Saul, right? <laughs> we'll fight. <laughs> ah, ah. Then, it's like, then I think, hey, don't want to say All right. Okay, have your way. It's fine. It's fine. So, so sure. you know, but even like with our finances, yeah, it traumatized me to see how, how, even now, how much we've had to work yeah. for everything. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like my song, A Life Feel. You know? Think about that Drake. It's a Drake song. It really brought me to the <laughs> toughest times. That's what Drake. <laughs> you know? 
It's that song. We, we that um, it it may not mean nothing to y'all, mm. but understand nothing was done for me. Yeah. Like the, the, those lines ah. are like, like we don't have a phone call. I always tell my wife that, like, if we don't have, we don't have. Yeah, yeah. we cannot call home. Sure. We cannot call a sibling. We cannot call someone and say sikela. Yeah, mm. and it's been like that since. I left matric. Yeah. And so finances for me, you know, when we spoke last week and I told you, I know the price of bread. Yeah. I, I, I know everything yeah. about money. Yeah. That for me would be that projection sure. where you are, we are, we are not spending a cent without thinking about it. So I was triggering you every time. Like you should go to the movies. You should do this. You should yeah, do this. Yeah. You came trigger. to my house and did all, <laughs> you were boom stress. I can imagine. You know? you I know? can imagine. But you're right. I mean, I think our relationship with money um, is affected a lot by yeah. our, by our upbringing. A yeah, whole lot. I think it's literally like, that's the one thing that actually plays the biggest part. I mean, we have different views on money mm. a lot of the times. Yeah. But I mean, we try, obviously when you get married, you kind of try and find a balance to say, okay, what can we do together? Mm. But mm-hmm. I wanted to ask you guys something just about like in terms of your marriage, what do you think is the one thing that actually, that brings people closer together, that creates this unity that you guys have? And this kind of like, we always say like the kind the best couples are the ones that become one. Yeah. But what are those things? What are the things that you guys actively do to kind of keep this fire um, burning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so There's no fire. No, <laughs> what fire? So, no. Um, okay, you go, you go, because you know I can talk. You go, go. I think it's remaining open. Yeah, I think we're open to um, learning from one another. Yeah, learning from one another. Open about our emotions, about our triggers, about our backgrounds, about our dreams. We just chose to remain open i think that's what draws us closer and closer together first of all i'm gonna you see her answers are very thought through i'm gonna tell you the truth so she's got these love languages that she always refers to the five um, love languages the five yeah. love languages i've never really uh caught in with that thing we mm. learned it during premarital counseling the, the premarital counseling i never i caught i never caught that <laughs> you know it's things i got from premarital counseling <laughs> Like when uh, we're doing premarital counseling, during premarital counseling, where this counselor was old, Lubaba, I, and I love him, I love him. You know, one of our pastors at, at the church. But it was weird. So he said that he was talking to my wife. We're talking about sex. He said, "Ubaba maga figendri, aso." So there are things I got from premarital counseling. Five languages are not one of them. So you got that. I got, I got this. So so she will go on about uh, uh, languages, and I struggle with that. I'll be uh, honest. I'll str- I struggle with that because she'll say, you know. <laughs> marital language okay, in what is touch what it is changes it? it's physical touch physical it, it touch. depends yeah. really on the yes. this season I'm in but you know physical touch is, is there it's always there physical mm-hmm. touch ne? but me now like is <laughs> under you know like if I'm at the mall and we are walking like I'm, like I want like <laughs> I get so awkward. I get so awkward. No man is a good like sitting down and mistake. I'm like, you know, it's not that I don't love my wife, right? Yeah. But it's like, it's not natural. It's not natural for me, right? Yeah. But to answer your question, there's a moment that, and I always tell her this, and this is why I always come back home. I tell her, I can never cheat. (laughs) Is just before we sleep, Mm. I hold her. I I I I will I'm not mistake. <laughs> <laughs> even when I'm tired or even when I find her in bed, I will always hold her. Oh. And for me it's those simple things sure. that I've got someone to hold before I sleep. Wow. And 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 I mean this is why I've got a place in Red Bank. I need you to know this. I've got a place mm-hmm. in Red Bank, but I never sleep there. Mm. I struggle to sleep there because she's not around. Mm. So it's those small and yana things. Another one for me is if sure. you see physical touch, you see. And it is physical touch. It's just touch. Yeah. in bed, yeah. Yeah. not yeah. everywhere where not everyone everywhere. can see us. <laughs> yeah. The, the other moment is another physical touch is whenever I come back from soccer or running, she will, she will ask me like, do you want coffee? And then she will, she bought this massage thing. Oh, yeah, the fruit spa the thing. The fruit spa thing. Yeah. Yes. That, that, and then I put my legs in there and then she'll get baby oil. Oh, baby oil. Huh. No, no, not funny stuff. Anything with baby oil. <laughs> <Yeah. in. laughs> Sign me up. Yeah. 
<laughs> and then she'll get baby oil. I always tell the guys at soccer, which, hey, I eat because I want that's fine. I'm yeah. really <laughs> mean, I mean, king. And then she'll, she'll, she'll rub me. And for me, it's those, sure. it's those sort of small things because, and maybe some couples will, will relate to us. We're on a journey where we're sort of trying to recover where life started yeah. financially. Yeah. So we don't have the means to go to Tanzania, <laughs> play or play. <laughs> Check out, Check out the love. Check out the love. This took a turn. <laughs> I was on board. <laughs> so so we, we, we don't have, we don't necessarily do all of these uh, things, mm. but the time we spend together, Quality. when I know I'm going home to my wife, like, yo, like, I'm, I'm excited. Like, yeah. You know, and yeah. that for me uh, stands up. That's, so that's the one thing. <laughs> I, I talk. That's, one. that's the one thing. <laughs> Then the other thing for me is understanding that, or for me to her, because a lot of the, what I spoke about was her to me, but for me to her, is understanding that I'm a tool in God's hands in her life. So oh. I've been brought in to serve her. S- serve. Ooh, so I've been brought in. <laughs> yeah, see you. Uh, I've been brought in to serve her. Ne? Yeah. And I'm not in this marriage to be served. If I get served, great. Well sure. done. But I don't expect it. Wow. Right? And what I've often found as well, guys, is that when you don't expect to be served, you get served. That's but true. when you start demanding being served, it's the law of attraction. Yeah, you know absolutely. what I mean? So I never ask. She knows. I'll never ask. Oguti. Well, I'll ask in my actions. I won't ask live. But I'm getting a little you know? <laughs> oh, you know? You know? And then she'll just serve me. But my understanding that I'm a tool in God's hands in her life and that I'm supposed to help her mm-hmm. in whatever means that I can. If she needs to study... We need to find that money. If she needs sure. to um, work late, work late, I, I must look it's after the, first the kids. I time I hear a husband say, "I'm here to help her," because it's always because we've been so, always the it's way. always the other yeah. way because we've been taught to go to the woman is the helper, which is absolutely correct. But the word also says that we respect each other, we serve each other, um, like you've mentioned. And it says the man must love. Yeah, which is what a is much love? bigger. It's a much bigger responsibility than yeah. helping. Yeah. Yeah. Love encompasses helping and everything else. Sure. Mm. And so, and yeah, and so for me, I see myself as a tool, and I also tell her, Guti, happy life here in Zagala. I live. Then what? And so she must be equipped. You know, she must yeah. have the, the 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 studies behind her. She must be able to stand on her own because I told if like as an example, I mean, if we have a if we have a third child, and because I didn't know about the second one. She had plans. If we have a third one, <laughs> I might go buy bread. <laughs> and, not, and not return. I might go buy bread. <laughs> and not come back. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you see. I'll see you after 30 years. So, so I tell her that. And I, but, I, but, but on a serious note, life happens, right? Yeah. And, and, and <laughs> look, I don't, I don't, I won't cheat. I can't, I can't. I don't know girls. You're like, not all of that. You're not yeah. 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 You are physically incapable. You know, a girl would literally have to hold me. And girl, you know? <laughs> so I won't, I won't cheat, but, um, but, but life happens. Yeah. And I never want her to feel as though she has to be in the relationship or wow. she has to be in the marriage. Sure. Yeah. If she wants to go, she must go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, guys. But sure, that's yeah, so much fun. Yeah, we're actually running out of time. Yeah. In terms of, but man, you know what you've said? You've said a lot. Like, Powerful. a lot. Actually, this is some of, I think, even for us. This is some of the realest um, idea of love. Because the idea of love in the world is not that. Mm. The idea of love is what can I get? Mm. Mm. And so every time you meet... But that's why I always say that it's always special when you meet people who are in the service business because marriage is a service industry. Yes. Yeah. And it's that's when you find like that connection where it's like I love like, these people belong together. Together, yeah. So I'm actually glad, man, that you guys came again. Yeah. Um, we love you guys. We, had, we love you guys so yeah. much. Um, I think obviously we've grown a lot in our careers and um, every, I do a gratitude journal every day. And yeah. um, in my gratitude, there's never ever things. And it's not that I'm not grateful for the things, the things are great, but because I'm in so, I'm, I'm in such, I'm in the moment so mad. It's, 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 it's the people, it's the company, it's the moment, it's yeah. the emotions, it's being held, it's being, it's being healthy. And then at the end, you're like, Oh, that too, you know, the yeah. things too. But Really what you said, I absolutely felt it. And I think the more you, you grow in life and the more things happen, we tend to lose that. And that's where we all just kind of need to go back to the simple, small moments, the meaningful moments. 
Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, we we've got a house though in a car. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we also don't yeah. want your viewers thinking, you know, that's we all we have. You know. <laughs> You guys are you guys like, no, guys, you guys are just got no, a new house. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no, these people, they've got a pool. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. No, 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 you've got a pool over a thousand square meters. You're not poor. <laughs> <laughs> you just have financial trauma. That's why you know the price of bread. But you're not poor people. <laughs> but um, thank you so much for coming, guys. You guys are so special. Um, we love you guys. We <laughs> like. I'm sure my mascara's all off. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, and yeah, no. I think uh, hopefully we'll have you back. You should have. Def- a, have you guys should have. A, you should have him on your main main segment. I feel like you should have your own. Podcast he should. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but he. He. I mean. In, during lockdown, you asked us for advice on starting a YouTube channel, and then you never did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I what? did, I did. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did? I did, but I needed, uh, I think uh, I, I, I downplayed it, because yeah. I thought that um, it was easy. You know, <laughs> I mean, you look at the two of you. Yeah. First of all, you're beautiful. Like, so <laughs> no, you're beautiful. Brandon, yeah, you're beautiful. You. You're a beautiful man. <laughs> Coming from Mutezza, yeah, you know, you're beautiful. it means a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you get it, you get it. <laughs> we have the same stuff. <laughs> Yellow bones. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I think uh, we. I, I thought. Look at them. Look at how good they make it yeah. look. You guys are on. Um, uh, uh, you guys are constantly. I mean, I look at you quite often. It wouldn't be right for me to look at you yeah. quite often. That's a yeah. bit dodgy. Yeah. Imagine <laughs> she sees me so good. <laughs> so, so I tend to look. I tend to look at him, and uh, and and you and you tend to think it's easy, right? Yeah. But just being on social media for me, first of all. I, I, what do I post, right? Your six pack. Let's just start, let's just start there. What do I? Your six pack. <laughs> you know, because I gotta you wake up. You said you want to go and post bikinis. <laughs> now, now you guys are going out. You're doing stuff. You're at shops. I mean, I've seen some of your podcasts. I mean, I get checkers. I get checkers. We're taking single guys roles today. <laughs> so, so I don't blame it. I don't blame it. But yeah. Anyway, that's me ending the podcast. Um, thank you so much for joining you, us guys. Uh, hopefully, we'll have you guys again. Definitely, yeah. we have to. Yeah. Thanks for having us, guys. This is our journey.